Hi everyone, I'm Nick Olivo, and today I'll show you how to set up timers in your Roll20 games. The first way we'll talk about is with animated GIFs, and you can either create your own GIFs, search for them online, or you can even buy them through the Roll20 marketplace, and I'll show you how to create your own in a few minutes. The other way we'll talk about is using an API script that will allow you to automatically count down from a particular value and display that to your players. Before we dive in, I'd just like to thank Roll20 for sponsoring this video. So being able to set up a timer in your game can come in really handy. Maybe you're running a cyberpunk game and you've got a bomb that the players need to disarm and so you want that ticking clock for them to be able to watch and kind of sweat as they struggle to make the appropriate checks. Or maybe you want an hourglass on screen so that folks know they've only got 30 seconds left to solve a riddle before the Sphinx is going to obliterate them. Or maybe you just want a timer running so that people know how much longer is left on the session's break before the game resumes. Whatever your need, being able to set up a timer in-game comes in really handy. And like I said, there are two approaches here. One is with animated GIFs, the other is with API scripts. So let's take a look at the animated GIF approach first. So let's start out with this animated GIF right here. This is one that I made, and as you can see, it counts down 3, 2, 1, 0, and there we go. Okay, so how did I actually create this? I started out using this program called paint.net. This is a free utility that's kind of like Photoshop. And basically what I did was I created a new image that was 140 pixels by 140 pixels. So that's basically four squares on the roll 20 grid. So you get a picture that's going to be about this size. And then I just used the text tool here, picked a font that I liked, and then made the text about, say, 48, and then typed in a number. There we go. And then I saved that as a PNG file on my computer. And then ultimately, I created a handful more of images just like that, which you can see here. So I created 3, 2, 1, and 0, and I made 0 red. So not very sophisticated, not very elaborate, but it's going to serve the purpose of counting down 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay, so how do we actually turn these static images into an animated GIF? Well, for that, we're going to go out to this animated GIF maker site, and I'll pop a link to this down in the description below. But basically what you do is you click on Choose Files, you browse out to wherever you have your images, and then select all of them, click Open, then click Upload and Make a GIF. Okay, and you can see here we've got 0, 1, 2, 3. We want it actually to go the other way, so we're going to rearrange this so it's going 3, 2, 1, 0. And in this delay, we're going to change this. We want this to be 100. So you see this is in 1 one hundredth of a second, so if we make this 100, then it's going to pause for one second in between each image, and that's what we're looking for there. And then the last thing we're going to do is set our loop count to 1 because we don't want this to restart after we get to the end. We want it to go 3, 2, 1, 0 and then stop. So that's what will happen here. If we left this empty, then it would go 3, 2, 1, 0 and then start over again, 3, 2, 1, 0. And that's not what we're after here. So loop count is 1 and then we say make a GIF. And there it is, 3, 2, 1, 0. So now what I'm going to do is save my image to my computer. I'm going to give this a more descriptive name. I'm going to call this the 3, 2, 1 countdown, being very creative here. And then I'm just going to jump back into my Roll20 game. Here's my 3, 2, 1 countdown GIF. I'm just going to drag that right onto the board. Okay, now it's on the board, and you'll notice that it is looping. It's going 3, 2, 1, 0. So what you want to do is right-click on this and go Animation stop looping because roll 20 by default is going to loop your animated gifs automatically so we're going to say stop looping then we get down to zero and now what you want to do is you know, hide this put this on the gm layer or something like that when it, the time comes that you're ready to have the timer active for your players just click on it and then you get this little play button now and that will start the timer and there you go. Now, if making GIFs yourself isn't your thing, you can see what I did was very simple and functional, but, I mean, honestly, it's not super aesthetically pleasing. And if you're like me and don't have art skills, 
which, I mean, stick figures are about as good as I can do, then you may be able to search Google and find an animated GIF timer that you like better, or there are some animated GIFs available for sale on the Roll20 Marketplace. If you go out to the Marketplace and just look for animated timers, you'll see there are a handful of those here which you can purchase. And in fact, that's what I have right here. This hourglass is from the Matt M Animations Animated Countdowns series here. And that, you know, looks a lot nicer than what I made in paint.net. So up to you in terms of how you want to do it, but an animated GIF is a really neat way to show a timer to your players. So that's the animated GIF approach. Now let's look at it using an API script. And again, if you want to use the API, you do need to have a pro subscription. So the script we're going to be using today is called Hourglass. And this is included in the Roll20 script library. So all you need to do is install it. And then in your game, find a piece of artwork that you want to represent your timer. So I've got this dragon hourglass here. I'm just going to drag that onto the board and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. There we go. And then I'm just going to double click on it and I'm going to name it hourglass. Save the settings. Okay. And then the command to do this is just going to be exclamation point HG start. And then the amount of time that you want it to wait. So, Let's say we just want a five second timer. For that, we're just gonna do five. And as you can see, it starts ticking down from five. If we wanted this to be, say, a minute and five seconds, then it would be one colon five. And that will be one minute and five seconds. You can see here the blue bar contains the minutes remaining, and then the red bar is seconds remaining. And then if we wanted it to be hours, it would be HG start, say three hours, colon one minute and five seconds. You get the idea. But the thing to know about this is your players won't see the bars by default. So you see this is ticking right now. Let me swing over my players view, All right, They don't see the bars. They just know this thing is spinning. They have no idea how much time is remaining here. So what we wanna do is double click on the token and we wanna make the bars visible to the players. So for each bar here, you want to go in and set the C permission to all your players. And then when you save that, the players will be able to see the bar and you can see now they see it's gradually ticking down. But the players don't know how much time that actually is. They just know it is ticking down. So depending on the scenario that you're working with, that may be what you want, or you may actually want them to see the numbers ticking down like what I had in the animated GIF. So it really depends on what you're going for. This sort of a timer is great for those scenarios when the players just know they're up against a clock. And when that thing runs out, they're in trouble. So go with whichever one makes sense for the scenario you've got in mind. So there you go. That's how you can set up timers in your Roll20 games. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing. And until next time, folks, have a great day.